I recently beat Earthbound for the first time and I have an unpopular opinion and scorching hot take on it. It's a good game. There are so many moments from this one game that have been talked about to death but for a good reason. The encounter with Gygus and how it ties into a toy's loss of childhood innocence. Magican and the way it communicates Ness's growth as a person. The fight against Dr. Ananuts and the very emotionally mature speech he gives in it. But none of these hold a candle to the single most important moment in not just Earthbound, not even any other game, but any game ever made. And that moment is... The pencil statue that blocks your path for a couple minutes top. Early in the game, your progress will be blocked by this pencil statue until you get the pencil eraser from Apple Kid. This really isn't that uncommon for video games, or even the RPG genre specifically. An object or character blocking your path until you do something unrelated is an easy way for devs to make sure you're on the right track. You erase the pencil statue, move on to stopping a cold, and eventually find another two of those statues over the course of your journey. One is in Winters, that's there to make sure Jeff does the brick road maze, and the other is part of the monkey caves. Fun fact, if the pencil eraser is in Paula's inventory when you temporarily lose access to her, the game is specifically coded to make sure you get it delivered to you so you don't get soft locked. The final statue you have to erase is an eraser statue at the beginning of Stone Edge Base, although you have to use an eraser eraser for it this time. At the end of the day though, there's not much separating these statues from similar obstacles in other RPGs in terms of function. They just stand out because they're a pencil of all things, or at least in the English version that is. Yeah, something notable about Earthbound is how extensive the localization process for it was was, with Itoi going out of his way to supervise the changes to every last line of dialogue. In the Japanese version, the pencil and eraser statues were Octopi and Kokeshi dolls respectively, but this was changed in the western version so the joke would be easier to get, seeing as how the latter was chosen specifically for wordplay that would be lost in English. And these changes clearly made an impression, seeing as how when the octopus statue returned in Mother 3, the fan translation went out of the way to change them to the western design. Okay, but that's enough basic information on a part of the game that most people would forget about shortly after. After. Why make a video on this weirdly specific part of the game and not anything that most people playing would actually care about? Well, on December 17th, 2020, one Twitter user would devote themselves to raising awareness about this weirdly specific part of the game and created the Pencil Statue from Earthbound account, or at Pencil Statue. Their first post would be a text box of Ness using the pencil eraser. Their second post would be a single word greeting. The crowd was silent. These tweets weren't doing numbers at all. The Pencil Statue account needed some stronger, so they typed down six words that would go down in history. I am literally a pencil statue. From there, the Earthbound Pencil Statue account started shitposting about the thing it's named for. Generally, their posts are what you'd expect from a Twitter gimmick account, inserting an image of the pencil statue into whatever meme format is popular at that time, finding a way to cross it over with other games, commenting on current Nintendo news, etc, etc. The content of the posts themselves are nothing out of the ordinary for a gimmick account or a user in general, aside from the one that somehow got noticed by Itoi himself. But what makes the Earthbound Pencil Statue account so special is how weirdly specific it is for a gimmick account. You see, you wouldn't know this if you made enough actually good life choices to not be active on Twitter, but with some exceptions, gimmick accounts tend to be disliked by the people of Twitter. The best way to describe the aura that a lot of gimmick accounts exude is that they're the mini version of brand accounts. Although obviously not as bad as the latter, because last time I checked, a Twitter gimmick account hasn't employed Colombian death squads yet. They just have this this inauthentic feeling as if every interaction with other people on the site was done specifically to chase clout. The Earthbound Pencil Statue account doesn't fall into this trap though. Since it's dedicated to such a weirdly specific concept, there is virtually no room for clout chasing. The most you could ever achieve by running an Earthbound Pencil Statue account is having Etoy like one of your tweets and the account already accomplished that. So instead of looking like the most inauthentic person ever, the Earthbound Pencil Statue account ends up being seen as a neat little oddity. Conclusion? Well, I guess I could make a point about how much effort is put into every little detail of a given work of art. Or maybe a point about how video games inherently being an interactive medium results in small moments like this feeling way more personal than they would in other mediums. But I won't. 